What is the ruling regarding a person who embraces Islam while he is a party to a usurious contract? This involves two cases. 1. If he is the party that takes interest, he is only entitled to his capital and must desist, as soon as he embraces Islam, from taking any interest whatsoever, as the Quran states. But if you repent, you may have your capital without wronging and without being wronged. Surat al-Baqarah 2, 279 If he receives any further interest after embracing Islam, he can get rid of it by donating it to charity to support charitable causes. 2. If he is the party that pays interest, two cases are involved here. If he can cancel the contract without incurring huge losses, then he must do so. If, however, he cannot cancel the contract except by incurring huge losses, he may fulfil the terms of the contract, but must show strong determination not to enter into such contracts ever again in the future. As the Quran states, whoever is given a warning by his Lord and then desists may keep what he received in the past, and his affair is Allah's concern. As for those who return to it, they will be the companions of the fire, remaining in it timelessly, forever. Surat al-Baqarah 2.275